blood. You look, you look like a bigger cut because you're spread out. But you're probably not as spread as you would be if I didn't tape off those chairs, right? Can we get rid of something from the back row? Yeah. No. Um, you do need to open this up for a cat. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show tonight. My name is Kevin Holstein. I am the director, whatever, person in charge of the theater program here. Which is actually a subtract of the theater program right now. Um, we're working on streaming that, but right now we're very happy to be working alongside Fred Peterson back there, our director of our theater, who's out there back there. Give him a round of applause. The show tonight. Um, first of all, it's very, very cool that the people in the show are the people in the musical theater program. They auditioned to be in this program. This is what they're doing. This is what they want to do with their life. So I'm very excited for the show you can see. Also, as I was thinking about what I was going to do with this group this fall, things happened this summer in the way of women's rights in this country. I thought, I have an ensemble of eight intelligent, compassionate, smart, talented, female presenting and identifying women, we need to do this. And I realized that I'm a 51 year old, cisgender, white, very gay man, and what boy do I have to do this? But I gave them the idea and they said yes. And then I gave them a bunch of music and they picked the music and they said yes to the pieces you're seeing tonight. By the way, those of you that are chosen for a program freaking out not having one, we're doing it on purpose. There are 15 songs in the show, just so you can keep count. The show is about an hour, so you keep track of your watch so you know how long you're going to be here. But the songs that are chosen are from musical, and if you know them, we want, you, we want them to take you on the journey they want to take you on. Because the pattern, the speaking between the songs was created by them. Once again, no one wants to hear my voice. I will support them all day long, but no one needs to hear my voice anymore talking about women's rights and women's struggles in the world. Once again, if you want to hear all white, cisgender, married gay men, no one needs to hear this voice right now. Right? I don't think so. No one needs to hear this voice again. Right? So everything that they say was written by them and honed by them and worked by them. So it's what they want to say, what they think is important. And with that, I'm going to get off the stage and let them tell their story. So thank you all for being here. This is Life on the Street.
share common themes. This show hopes to be a representation of these different moments in a woman's life. Heartbreak, overcoming stereotypes, sisterhood, given or chosen, sex, finding validation, and the many other examples of trial and error as we discover ourselves and learn to love who we are as women.
a race 2.5 times larger than their female counterparts. Data also indicates that women in research are paid far less than their male counterparts. Oftentimes, when women go to college, they find themselves shedding the societal standards of becoming a housewife or a mother primarily. Sometimes they find a career that they want to make their whole lives. This can happen instantly, or there can be an aha moment.
with double standards. If you dream of a world where someone's biases don't affect you and those who care for you take the good with the bad in order to gain your life. Everyone deserves the chance to come out with their truth. Once you realize your worth, others will too. It can be a challenge to deal with the biases dealt against you once you decide to express your sexuality. It can lead to backlash and even influence relationships. Although some may judge you, it's pretty obvious that there are worse things you can do. There are worse things I can do.
fight with you through thick and thin. Throughout all the friendships, fights, and makeups life has to offer us, we realize who we truly value. When you push past the people that bring you down, you can truly shine like the sun. They say we always get what we deserve, whether good, bad, or indifferent. That's what I've always heard. No good deed goes unpunished for the bad deeds you have done. Stretch out and shore that they would reach from here to kingdom come. You think it's time you get what you deserve. You've got no true compassion, but you've really got some nerve. And you've heard every one of us in different kinds of ways. Goes around, goes around, and each job has its day. We're not taking orders from you anymore. The tables are turning. Under this hair is a bright knot that you never care. And you always see kids, but get this. There's a heart under there. A heart that's been ripped out and broken. More 
believe that we have all, as a collective, grown as women. But we all agree that work still needs to be done to ensure that this sense of womanhood can be protected. What we do should ultimately be our choice. Our choice to live whatever lives we please.